What is up guys, my name is Christopher, or Chris, welcome back to another video. We're yet again in the garage working on my WRX, and today we're moving to the interior where we're going to be dipping the vents in this red color. Uh, as I kind of got this gray and red theme going on, I got a red shift knob, so I thought this would fit really well with the vents and possibly the carbon fiber accents as well, but we'll see. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're in the driver's side of the car and this is the vent I'm talking about. We're gonna be dipping this silver part right here. Uh, we also got two more uh, right above the infotainment screen and then one on the passenger side. So we're gonna start with this one. Um, this seems to be the hardest to take out. So we might as well start with this one. Um, and also right here, this is the carbon fiber trim I was talking about. I don't know how well you can see it. I'll probably zoom up on it um, to show you guys what I mean, but it's just this carbon fiber trim. It's not real carbon fiber. And so you have to take this out anyways to get both of these out. So I've considered dipping this red as well. So we'll see. Um, if I don't like it, I just take the tip off and that's what I love about dip. So, uh, to start off, we're going to have to take our fuse panel, uh, cover off. You can see, I still have not replaced my, uh, switch for my, uh, Grillcraft grill, uh, light. So that should be coming soon. Uh, I'm still trying to find something, but... We're gonna have to remove this part over here and then that it's gonna be able to drop this part where all of our buttons lie right here. And then we're gonna be able to reach up and unclip this vent. Let's start with over here and we'll just work our way down and up. So we're gonna have to remove this little screw right in here. This is the screw that we need to remove. There we go. Uh, and then it should release this part over here. Shout out to Last Humans Garage for uh, making a video that is easy to follow. Um, he showed that you pull from up here and it's gonna pop out like that. And then you can pull Right there and it comes out perfect okay so I think what we're gonna have to take out is I don't really have a good way of there we go that kind of works sorry for the glare it looks like we're gonna have to take this out so I can reach up back there and pop this out as you can't pop it out over here. So my hands are small enough to be able to reach up and get this left one. This is the one that most people are having issues with and have to take this part of the wiring out. I don't have to do that. And then you can get over here on the right side Okay, so that's actually really easy. I just wasn't pulling up hard enough or high enough really. So here it is, I'm gonna get a light. So here it is. These are the tabs that you have to push up and you have to push them up 
really high like this. I don't know how well you can see that. You have to pull them up like this and pull out at the same time. Um, but yeah, they come out super easily. That was a super easy job. Okay, so I've been doing a little work off camera and I was able to separate these. This comes out pretty easily as long as you have um, several smaller flathead screwdrivers. So it's gonna loosely, just gonna place it like that. So there are gonna be these little clips in here and you're just gonna have to get a flathead over them and then kind of pull like this and push at the same time. You're gonna do that for all four here. These side ones come out super easily. You can just lift them with your finger. I started with this top piece and then I moved down to this bottom piece where there are two more like the middle ones on the top. You do the same thing. They're pretty easy um, to get out. So then you separate this you can put that other piece to the side for the minute and you're gonna have these little tabs right in here that if you watched my grill install video which will be right up here um, then they're just like the tabs that you had to remove for the grill so if you haven't watched that that's okay I do recommend it but you there are these little parts sticking out and come on focus okay so there are these little tabs and they're really hard to see on camera but you can kind of see that little tab sticking out i've already done it to this one all you have to do with a flathead is just push it and i kind of moved it but not enough there we go it doesn't make any snapping sound or anything. You just have to watch it. And then there's a third one that's hidden right in this part. Um, so this one's gonna be a little tricky to get out. I think. This middle one's not quite out. There we go. And this last one's not quite out yet either. It's very hard to see where the clip is on that one. But those all come out and then, okay, there we go. And then it just snaps out just like that and now we can dip that. So I'm not gonna dip everything, or I'm not gonna dip anything until I have everything out of the car, um, but the driver's side one is ready to be dipped. So now we're on the passenger side of the car, and to do this, we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to take this trim piece out Okay, look at that. So you reveal this hole over here once you remove this trim piece and then you stick your finger in and you can pop this out far enough to be able to then pop this out. Look at that, super easy. Yeah, anyone wondering if this is actually carbon fiber? It doesn't even look like carbon fiber on the camera, but it's not.
So the mic was off, but this was easy to get out. I actually pulled it up too high, or I pulled the right clip up too high. Um, but yeah, that was easy to get out. So um, we can actually put this all back together on both sides. Okay, so I've been working off camera to get the center trim piece off just so I could get to working on the, um, just so I could get to working on the uh, dipping. But anyways, this is super easy to do. I'm gonna just kind of show you. Um, you're gonna want one of these really big ones. And when it's in here, I'm sorry, this is super dirty because for the longest time I wasn't wearing gloves and I was working in here. Um, but pretty much you're gonna bring it in like this and you're just gonna do this until it kind of bulges out to the sides. And then you're gonna get your little tool that we've been using the rest of the time to pretty much, I'm gonna show you on this side, to pretty much just dig in here and slowly pop out and then it's gonna pop out a little bit and you can just pull it out. Be careful not to pull it too far as the hazards will be connected. So if you have a 2015, I think you have a different radio. Um, that doesn't come out. This infotainment screen doesn't come out. So don't worry about that. You're not gonna break anything. Um, so uh, again, I'm just gonna do this off camera. Um, and we can continue dipping. Okay, so here's the middle part. I already got one of the vents out. It's pretty easy and pretty similar to what you did on both the driver's side and passenger side, but it is a little different. And so you're gonna have to kind of manhandle it. So get your flathead again. And I would recommend starting on this bottom part. It seems to make it much easier. So, Honestly, the first one's kind of the hardest, but you just kind of get it until it comes out. And there you go. That's pretty easy. And then for the top, there are three, or sorry, there's really two that you need to get out, and the third one's in the middle, but I didn't even have to do anything to it. It just kind of came out. I'm gonna start on this side. I can see it better. I think that's out, it's not. Sorry that you can't see this super well, there we go. And that side's out, and now all we gotta do is this side, which is actually very hard to see. There we go, and it just slides out. Now, you will see that this isn't, this doesn't have the trim piece on it. This actually does, ooh, almost dropped that. All right, so it, this still holds onto this, and this is super simple. There's gonna be a tab right here, and a tab right down here. So you're just gonna take your flathead, like the rest of them, and boom, it kinda comes up. And then you're gonna do it with this one. And there you go. It just comes out. Now you're able to dip them. So we're gonna put all these to the side.
All right, so I stopped filming after a while, um, just cause it got really repetitive and redundant, uh, but I got it all painted. Everything looks really, really good. Uh, it looks kind of orange actually on the camera. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I think it's the lighting in here. Um, but here's that piece. The piece that I thought I was gonna have to redo cause it was just kind of my test dummy. So everything's now done. Um, so I'm gonna put it back in. I even got the like top here, this little piece I got up there and around there. You know, what I really like about dip is if I choose, I don't like this in a couple of days or a couple of months or whatever, I just peel this off, I clean it, call it a day. And that's what I really like about it. I did get it all over my hand, it's now off, but it was like I gave myself a Brazilian wax right here. Like that shit hurt, dude. Pulling, <laughs> pulling all that dip off. Um, so I'm gonna get everything together. It's gonna match my mud flaps. It's gonna ship, uh, match my shift knob. It's just gonna look really, really good. This is actually very similar to my mud flap. If we turn you around here, um, I'll show you how similar it looks. All right, so here's this little trim piece for the driver's side. Let me move the tripod, there we go. So my mud flap is kind of dirty. So not the best comparison but it's pretty similar. It's not quite the shift knob red that I have, but this is very rock blocks red type of color. So it does look very good. Now, I didn't explain how to get this piece out. Um, what you wanna do is if it's sitting like this, it's gonna be sitting like this in the car you're gonna wanna push this part in and it's gonna release so it is like this. And then all you're gonna have to do is just push up on this and you can pull out. It may even fall out, I don't know. I did have to kind of pull it out. But anyways, let's get this piece in first. And then we can put the rest of this interior back together. That's why this is still apart and everything else is pretty much back together. Oh yeah, that actually looks really good, damn. All right, I'm really glad I did that. That looks really, really good. I I really dig that. That's gonna look so good with all the accent colors on the vent. This, yeah, man, I'm digging that. That looks so good. the other way and it should just snap in like that oh my god dude this looks so much better than that fake carbon fiber if it was real carbon fiber I would not want to do this but I, I hate the fake carbon fiber um, I think it just looks really bad um, I don't know I think a lot of carbon fiber stuff is overrated I'd rather just have something that's painted. And this just looks so good. I don't know why they wouldn't do this. They have the like Alcantara seats that are red as well. I don't know why they wouldn't do this. Or at least have this as an option because this looks really good and it actually looks very good with my shift knob right here, which you can see. This is a Billet Works uh, custom shift knob. It's their short teardrop design with the uh, Japanese lettering and it has an STI logo on it because why not okay so i just got all the vents all together and look at that those look so much better than stock if if you're wondering if you should do this absolutely this looks so good and i i'm so excited to get them in the car so let's do it Okay, so here is the driver's side one. Oh man, that looks so good. If only we could do this little silver trim right in here, but I don't know how to get that out, but I'm happy the way it is. That looks so good. I'll have some close-ups when we're done here.
Oh man, that just looks so good. Damn. Oh my God. It's like a whole new interior, honestly. Like it's such a little thing, but it makes such a big difference, especially in such a bold color like this red. I just, I love that red strip running across versus the carbon fiber. The carbon fiber, honestly, was so bland. Okay, and the very final thing to go on, we do have to connect our hazards, our little screen button here. There we go. And this should just slide right in. This one's super hard to get back in. There we go, and now it's in. There's just so much light right here that it makes it really hard to see the actual color. Yeah. It looks, it looks so awesome. That's my favorite part right there, that stripe. You know, I was so unsure about doing this at first and now I'm so happy I did it because this looks so cool. Oh man, I'm so happy with the results. A cheap $5 mod, three hours of your time and it's gonna change the interior of your car. So I definitely recommend doing this. Definitely, definitely worth it in my book. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe down below, leave a like, and share this with your friends. Peace, guys.